So I went to the park and I had a little picnic. I just like to go during the day. It kind of lets me meditate and chill. And I put my little blanket down and kids started, not kids, they were like, I don't know, 20 something, started playing football and they're running across my blanket and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. And finally like the mama peace officer, angry person came out. I'm like, yo, back off, what, hello? And I, I did, I said, you're disrespectful. I know you were probably taught better than this in your whole life and you probably have better manners, back off. Alisa was a fashion stylist who can relate to these women. Take a look. When I turned 30, I remember feeling really depressed. I was insecure about my looks. I didn't feel pretty enough. I didn't feel good enough. I just didn't feel enough. I feel much more enough now. People should never feel limited by what they can do or how they can grow or how they can change and never give their power away to anyone that tells them that they're not enough. And if we all knew that, we would have a completely different world. Elisa and her daughter Lily are co-founders of Style Like You, a website focused on self-acceptance. And they are also the brains behind the documentary series, What's Underneath Project, uh, in which people like Paulina talk about their vulnerabilities while slowly stripping down to their underwear. Elisa, Lily, thank you guys for being here. Um, it, you've been listening to everything that we're talking about, and you know, I'm, I, I'm talking about the importance of what everybody, particularly these women are saying to themselves as opposed to listening to what they're hearing other people say. Um, and I, I, I think that's really important. What do you guys say about that? Yeah, I, I completely agree with that, but we live in a system and in a society and in a marketing machine that's designed to make us feel less than so that we buy things. Exactly. And um, so it's, to me, it's a criminal act. Um, and because our lives are so valuable um, and it doesn't become less or more valuable with any of these external things, age or gender or race or body size or mental or physical, nothing, none of, you know, it's all, you're not more or less valuable because of any of those things. You are valuable, you're inherently valuable. And your life is meant to be an uncovering of that value, so it improves with time. And Lily, millennials and Gen Zers are really interested in learning about getting older. Why do you think that's true? I think we're all pretty afraid of it. I mean, I don't know if we're so, I think, well, on our video platform that we create, my generation, Gen Z and millennials are very, we interview people of all ages who kind of defy beauty standards and norms and like really own who they are from the inside out. And our videos on older women specifically are some of our most popular that we ever create because I just think that we're all, we, as my mom said and as we've all been talking about, we, we're all so conditioned to fear aging and to think that our beauty becomes irrelevant. So then when we see someone who doesn't buy into that and who completely owns who they are and they actually radiate beauty in a way that we're not really seen in most of media. And that's so shocking for us. And I think that my generation is just like relieved when they see something like that and like that, you know, are presented with another option. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.